everyone, Adam here. I am back with another reaction for the channel. This is a brand new artist and this comes from my brand new Patreon, Shetil. I apologize if I'm pronouncing your name incorrectly. Please do let me know in the comments down below. But thank you so much, Shetil, for joining the Patreon. It means the absolute world to me. And everybody who joins the Patreon for the first time, their song goes right at the top of the list. And this was his request. So this is Girl in Red and Serotonin. Now, I'll be honest, I've never heard of this artist. I don't even know where she's from. I don't know what sound she has. Not a clue. So let's jump straight in. Here we go. This is Girl in Red and Serotonin. I always love new artists when we bring them to the channel because I have no idea what to expect. So let's do this. I'm running low on serotonin Chemical imbalance got me twisting things Stabilized with medicine There's no depth to these feelings Dig deep, can't hide From the corners of my mind I'm All terrified right. of what's inside I get intrusive thoughts like Cutting my hands off like Jumping in front of a bus like how Oh, let's go Yes. Shit. Is she okay? <laughs> this video. Is that a different language at the end there? I'll have to re-listen to that, but... Well, what an interesting sound. I really had no idea what I was going into there, and I did not expect that, but I, you know what? I actually really liked it. It was like, it's very young sounding, right? Like, she's obviously a youthful girl, like, very young and, like, very kind of current sound, which I think I really enjoyed. And it's still really interesting that, you know, she's so young and yet is talking about really like important and really kind of darker subjects as well talking about that you know need for medicine in order to make you feel better in order to stop you having these darker thoughts and you know she talks about a lot of them about like you know feeling depressed feeling suicidal feel about like wanting to hurt people like the people that she loves and that's really interesting the way that this tackles these issues and it's nice that we have the two dynamics of the song where you know when she is rapping there she's talking obviously a lot quicker but yet she's talking about these darker thoughts and even the soundscape behind that section, that completely changes where it has more of that, that kind of downbeat tempo, which was really interesting. And then 
when we get the choruses, it's like really light and almost whimsical in places. But yet the lyrics she's singing, you know, she's singing like, I'm terrified of like losing myself and all of this. And yet when you look at her, she's like smiling and it's a nice kind of metaphor almost for what you see on the outside doesn't necessarily reflect what's happening on the inside. You know, and I think that's one of the main purposes of the song there. You know, she's saying she's terrified and that she's thinking of all of these awful things and just hates the idea of having to be on medicine for the rest of her life to help subdue these things. But yet when you look at her in the video, she looks like a young kid who's having the best time of her life. And that's so interesting. That's such an important thing to explore because there are so many young people out there who suffer with, you know, mental health in very many different ways. And it's just, it's important to raise awareness for that. And I think if you know, Girl in Red can do that in any way, shape or form, then that's incredibly important to do that. I mean, getting to her voice, it was really interesting because when she first started, it was just, I, I didn't know what to expect. It was quite, you know, pleasant to listen to. There wasn't a lot of dynamics to start with. There is a dynamic in terms of style, like, you know, the vocal shifts going from that kind of more rapper sound to then going to, you know, then going to like more carefree and just singing like the choruses, which is really lovely. Again, she reminds me a little bit of different artists in place who have more of that kind of lightness to their voice. You know, it's almost just like, like daydream-esque. And it's really, really lovely to hear. And it matched the music perfectly. The vibe of the song was matched perfectly in the difference of her performance, right? And then, you know, like the kind of rapier sections, as I said before, they were more downbeat. She was speaking quicker. It was almost like rapid as if you're having rapid thoughts, right? And then once the medication kicks in, it was almost like, you know, you're a lot more carefree, you're a lot more whimsical. It's like a lot more relaxed in the vocal. And that came across in the vocal. And that's really interesting. For somebody so young, I don't know if it was her decision or if it was, you know, decision of a producer or whoever, but that was really interesting. And I always like when music, you know, takes a concept or like art takes a concept and they explore it in an interesting way and try mixing things up. And that was really interesting to do that. So yeah, Girl in Red, wow, I mean, I don't know anything else by her. I'm guessing I should check out more by her because this was really interesting to listen to, a really important concept, but also handled and explored in a really interesting way in the music of this. Really interesting, really good start, and I probably should check out more, but what do you think of Girl in Red and the song Serotonin? You know what to do by now. Please leave me your comments down below with your thoughts, and if you have any other suggestions by Girl in Red that I should check out, please leave those down below as well. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please come and subscribe to the channel if you don't already and make sure you hit that bell icon as well. It's the fastest way to get new notifications when a brand new video like this drops. If you do want to jump in and help support the channel on Patreon, that would be incredible. Thank you so much. The link and details for that are just down below. We do have a few little exclusive goodies on there. For example, I do a monthly check-in every single month with my Patreon subscribers, as well as a few little exclusive goodies that are only on there. So if you do want to jump in and help support the channel, thank you so much. The link and details for that are just down below. So thank you again, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this just like what I did. And thank you, Chetil. Again, correct me if I'm wrong in the pronunciation of your name, but thank you for joining the Patreon and for this request. And until next time, take care.